Hello everyone. We're a couple minutes late. We had some uh, clients that we were chatting to about these portraits. Anywho, so uh, we're here at the studio today because why not? <laughs> so this is our lovely studio. If you haven't been here before, if you haven't seen the tour, as Teresa is our lobby. This is uh, lots of painting. Did ever? I believe that was her sweet sixteen. And this is our daughter from about I don't know. She was about four years old at the time in a field. So that was a lot of fun to do. And uh, now she's thirteen, and um, we couldn't do that now because a she don't look like that, and uh, b she's thirteen. I don't think she was stand long. <laughs> Not long for that. Um, she's not interested in family portraits at the moment. But this is a uh, this is actually a painting that Teresa did. She had a lot more flowers, and uh, so that's Chloe. That's a black and white portrait we did in the studio a long, long time ago. But we love it, and we're always swapping out images in the studio. And this is an oldie but a goodie. So, and as a family. Now we did in the field down the road from us, and it's a painting. And uh, this field is actually the same location as this, just a slightly different time of year. And then with every painting, Teresa can add and take away grass and plants and flowers. So that's what she did to make the difference there. And then let's see, give me a little studio tour while Teresa's getting ready. The family we did on the beach. It's them walking away. Oh, we're testing out the volume because we got burned the other day. This, um, the Teresa's got to lower the volume on it. There you go. Thank you. All right. Okay, everybody. All right. I just got to grab a chair. I'm here. You don't need a chair. You stand and you paint like Van Gogh did back in the day. Anyway, so here's the studio. This is a, oh, can't do wide angle too well. This is a portrait we did in the studio. This is a painting created from a portrait we did in the back of their house. That flames are, those flames are real. Slightly enhanced, but those flames are real. That was a lot of fun doing that portrait. Yeah, I'm gonna turn around there, that's a wall. That's Teresa grabbing a chair cause she don't want to be like Van Gogh. And here we go, we're gonna start painting. What are we painting today? I don't know, third base, we are painting. Sorry, everybody. I'm a little late today. We're a little late today. Hi, everyone. We're out of sorts today. Welcome to the 605. <laughs> Yeah, painting, 605, fix 10. Painting. Mm. Uh, my name is Teresa Artigas. If you don't know who I am, I'm here with my husband, Michael, which I was told you need to say hi. 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 Who said <laughs> He's that? He's holding the camera mm. for me. Um, throughout this time that we've been home, I have been doing uh, live painting demonstrations, and it's been great for me, so it keeps me doing my art, um, and everybody's really enjoyed watching it throughout the time that we've spent home. Now we're back at the studio, as you see. So I'm kind of still wanting to keep on those lives and just keep going with it um, while we're working. So I'm gonna continue on today this is with, um, seashell. this is a photograph that I printed out on computer paper, just like paper. And I changed the feel to it um, because I just felt I could. It's a reference photo, so you can change it. I wanted it to be just a little more tropical. And I put in the foundation colors of the shells yesterday and did some waves. So now I'm going to continue on with this. And I hope you enjoy watching. So I'm just a little behind. <laughs> and my easel is not the same easel. <laughs> but we're going to just keep going. No, we have a lot of easels. I have a lot of easels. It's not the one that I had at home. No, this is not her favorite easel. No, but it's okay. I mean, hey, we have a lot of easels. Why do we have so many easels? Because we need them. Why? So why only one painter? <laughs> it's one painter. We don't need that many. <laughs> we always need mm. Just like we need paintbrushes. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so, let's pull this down a little You know, bit. Bob Ross only used one paintbrush. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> Van Gogh only used two. No, he didn't. He only had two. It's a known fact. All right, let me get some colors. Oh, out what here. colors are we going to use? We're going to use white. 
All right, so we got white. I always put two whites. Why? Because sometimes I mess up my white and I just always... It gets tainted? It gets tainted, yes. Oh, okay. And I have a little bit of cadmium yellow. Cadmium yellow. Okay, we got cadmium yellow and white. And we're using the nice Aruba coffee cup <laughs> yep. for your brushes today. For my brush water, mm -hmm. whatever you could find. Because mm -hmm. I was rushing. Okay, we got brown in there. Who else we got, we got yellow ochre. Got yellow ochre. Yep. It sounds like a, that's a lot of yellow ochre. I was a little bit black. Sounds like food almost. Yellow ochre. There we go. That's black. Yup. And uh -oh. a little bit of burnt sienna. Burnt sienna. That's a lot of the burnt sienna. And a tiny bit of orange. Orange. Mm -hmm. I just did this one, didn't I? No. What's that? This one is uh, raw sienna. Raw. We got burnt and raw. So these two are kind of similar, just different. One's burnt. <laughs> one's not. One's raw. The orange is right uh, in front of your face. Right, there it is. Oh, yeah. A little bit of orange. Okay, now we need orange. Just a tad, not a much. A tad of orange. Let's put that right there. Okay, so we got, it's a test. It's a test. Okay. Is it just regular orange? Yeah, it's bright. It's, it's true orange, I guess you would say. True Why orange. Would I use true orange. True orange. It's brighter in here. Okay. And it's not. It's not. If you're here, say hi. We'd love to hear from you. Please. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with <clears throat> my brush. Which brush are you going to use? What are you going to use? The brush I wanted is not here. Oh, never say that. <sighs> okay. Well, I grabbed these because from home I grabbed a whole bunch yeah. brushing out the door. You know what that means? means I need more brushes. And you're going to buy twice as many brushes. <laughs> so they can have brushes here. We can have brushes there. Mm -hmm. We can have brushes everywhere. <laughs> so we're never running out of brushes. All right, I'm gonna wet my brush. Here wet since. your brush. There's no coffee in that. That's good. No, I could use a coffee though. No. Okay. okay. So I don't, I don't have this thing down, so that it's clasping my brush. Oh my, my no. Today. Okay. So, yeah, she's a bit of a painting diva, just so people know. And I'm gonna just mm -hmm. lower this down a little bit, and okay. right now, I know what. I'm just gonna put in some. Burnt sienna. What do I do? Colors here. A little bit of orange in there. And just kind of a little bit in here. A bit of white. So, we had a beach portrait for tonight. And then the weather just kind of... It just fell apart. Yep, it did. <clears throat> it got really uh, cloudy. It, it's extremely hot, but it got very cloudy and gloomy. It was so beautiful before, even though it was hot. And we had to call them and alert so we, them. It was supposed to get... Weather. Like this later. I know. When I looked this morning, it was supposed to be much later. But even day. if the storm doesn't hit until like seven thirty or eight or whatever, it, the, what comes before it is always like nasty wind and uh, rain and okay. mugginess, and then you get down there and it's not as pretty. Um, so we rescheduled. I think we are. Uh, we'll be doing that soon anyway. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's, it's ugly. It's and windy when too. you do a beach portrait, you want a beautiful night. So if you can have the opportunity to change it, if it's like gloomy and the clouds roll in, and you have that option, and you know you don't live far away and whatnot, then um, take it because you want it to be special. You know, it's a special portrait. It's not something that you take lightly. At least I don't. Now I'm just putting in little highlights and uh, making it come to life. A little bit more white down here. Just 
just kind of blending it a little bit here. It <laughs> makes a funny noise, doesn't it? <laughs> More yellow. white. Any more light? There's no light. light coming in from the door. <laughs> there we go. Putting in a little bit of sand is going to be interesting, I must say. <laughs> Your glasses. It's so quiet in here. Oh, Usually we're from we're working from home. <clears throat> the dog is running upstairs over us like a horse on the <laughs> hardwood floors, barking. <laughs> Life is different here in the studio. It's nice. It's quiet. It's quiet. <laughs> it is. Now I'm gonna add in a little bit of brown here. There's no music. No, it's quiet. It's really quiet in here. <laughs> it's it almost is. too quiet. But it's okay. A little bit of black in there with brown. Black and brown, a little bit. A little bit of a little orange in there too. A little bit of white. Harsh. Let's rinse that just a little bit. If you're here, say hi. We'd love to hear from you. Okay, so um, it's coming along nicely. I think I want to add a little more orange in here.
Maybe a little bit of yellow in there. These are just seashells we picked off the beach, right? Yeah. You know, it's much easier finding whole seashells in Florida. <laughs> than up here. Than up here. I'm not sure why. Yeah. I don't know. Is it a tide thing? I don't... But there were a lot of shells, like whole shells. Yeah. On the beach. Here is not usually like that. Alright. I'm going to take a break from that shell because... Kind of need to <laughs> take a little break. Let's add in a little brown and black down here. A little bit of shadow here. Now it's all the little details. Now I'm just kind of adding in. And a little black under here. A little more shadow, right? Under the uh, mm. shell. And a little shadow under here. A little shadow under here. Yeah, if you look outside, it looks so yucky. Show what the outside is like. Gray, yucky. Nah, everybody knows. <laughs> well, some people aren't from this area. Let's get a little darker color in this one shell. brown in there. Tiny bit of white in there. I don't like that shell. <laughs> you don't like that shell? Sorry. No. <laughs> I'm not going to do it the way you paint it. It's just ugly. It looks almost like a rock or something. Mm. Well, maybe I can make it look prettier. <sighs> I guess. <laughs> okay. I'll try, Mike. Just for you. I'll make it look prettier. No, you don't have to do nothing for me. <laughs> it's your painting. I'll just point out. The obvious? Yeah, it's just, <laughs> and the very obvious. <laughs> That's funny. Got a little white here. That one needs some some work. Yeah, you think? This brush is kind of big. That's okay. All right, so let's move on. Um, I'll pick a different brush here. I'm really missing my brush that I had from home. Um, you don't need any money, though. I don't know. Eh. I could try to go with 
one of these two. Such a brush diva. <laughs> Don't show anybody what I just do with my brushes. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> okay. I won't. So let's give a little bit of yellow. I do want a little bit of yellow on that. Edge here. Let's go in there with a little bit of orange. A little burnt sienna there and some orange. Some yellow. Just a little bit of mustard in there. A little bit of raw sienna in there. I guess I'll go a little darker. And a little bit lighter. And the outer edges here. Kind of soften it just a little. I do have to get into all those little scalloped areas, but I will. Not just yet, though. Okay, what's going on over here? That uh, shell I didn't do. This one is needs some work. <laughs> This must be like a muscle shell, right? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Me either. You forget I was born in the Bronx. What the heck do I know about shells? You grew up in the mountains. <laughs> I don't know anything about shells. So we're, <laughs> we're a team here. We're a team of no knowledge about <laughs> shells. shells. <laughs> we live in the Jersey Shore. Well, I know, but. <laughs> it's funny. get in here with that little eyelash brush I see. Yeah, you are. I gotta get my eyeglasses out. Yeah, you will. <laughs> well, you don't have eyeglasses, so we're gonna have I to go. We're gonna have to go to like ShopRite or something and, and do like a half hour exam at the readers. <laughs> they have the little thing you can dial in and you can uh, play with it. And I know you, you won't be comfortable with just one because <laughs> I'm gonna end up with like three different intensities. And yeah, we'll see. There. I'm just putting in some highlights at the moment. Nothing too fancy. What I'm doing is I'm also squinting my eyes when I'm looking at it too. It helps. Um, for the highlights and shadows, especially when I don't have a bright light in this room. <laughs> it's kind of like uh, get everything ready quickly. Yeah, I'm just blending a little bit here and there. I will have 
have to go in with a little tiny eyelash brush on the it for the, uh, <laughs> the actual little um, scallops on the shell. So we'll do that. Probably not today since I can't see so well. Now at a studio at home, we have two huge lights. Each one's got four huge bulbs in it shining down on the painting from two different angles. So we should show people that. Like, yeah. Then we have overheads, you know, yeah. recessed light. Wait, the place is lit up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah, but you can see very well. Yeah, well, that's how we do it. But uh, here, here's my mood lighting. <laughs> In the lobby? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, okay, I'm going to try it with this little brush. Don't bother. Yeah, I think I can. No, no, I can't. I can do it. No, I can't. I can. Stop it. Yes, you can. Thank you. I told you you got it. <laughs> Looks like the little train that could. I think I can. I think I can. Yeah. Thank you. Well, those are pretty big scalps. Oh, thanks. No, I mean on the actual <laughs> shell. I mean, look, look. Like, wait, like, they're pretty big. They're not they like are. the leather ones. That's true. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not being uh, okay. mean. <laughs> I'm just pointing out the obvious. Get some defensive. That's pretty good scalloping, I think. What do you think? It's awesome. I'm just gonna darken this down a little bit. I do think the top of the shell is much different than the in the painting than it is in the actual photo. What? The um, top. The top this of one? yeah. Here? Don't you think? Where do I need to change? Tell me now. So well, I don't know. I'm just saying, it looks different. <sighs> this looks more pointy. Oh, you're right. It's too. Uh... It's too pointy. Thank you. Let me fix it right now. Oofa. Okay. Keep it around. See? Yeah, See, look at that. It was too pointy. It's too. I think it's too pointy. I Everybody agree. agree. It's too pointy. <laughs> I agree. All right. Thank you. She agrees. What's today's date? Today's twenty <laughs> second. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Just add in a little bit of... 6.33. Yeah, there you go. A little better. Not as pointy. Not as pointy. It was too pointy. Okay. Not that that's bad, but I know you try and be... It's pretty much on as much as I can. Yeah. Going on with this thing here. It's a little scallop looking thing. I don't know either. I don't know, but I'm pretty. So, I see this piece sticking up. Mm -hmm. Not liking it anymore, but it's there. I so. told you that. I know, but it's okay. We'll uh, just go with it. Uh, <laughs> we'll just go with it. I have to <clears> redo, like, I have to redo the water and. Well, I'm just, I mean, I'm just debating whether I should get rid of it or not. I don't debate yeah. away. You're at the 30 minute mark, by the way. Am I really? Yeah, really. That goes by so quick. Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay. Mix, mix, mix. What's going on here? Let's get some. some raw sienna in here. Blend it in a little bit more. Maybe a little bit of lighter. Going on the edging in a minute. A little white.
Yeah, I can see this will be a detailed one. Hmm. It's going to come out a little bit more, doesn't it? A little rounded. Uh -huh. And a little bit of white. Shape down there. Add a little bit of brown here. Make it rounded a little bit. A little bit of brown. A little bit of brown. Ooh, that's a lot of bit of brown. Whoopsies. Sienna. And then this little spot over here where it turns. I've got the wrong, uh, I gotta get rid of that right here. I'm gonna have to play with that shape just a little bit more. to come out more. Let's get that to come out a little bit more. And let's see all this color here. So let's see. Always tweaking, right? Uh-huh. on that a little bit more. <laughs> this just needs some help. Okay, so um, let's bring this in here. A little bit of brown. And then bring in a little bit of white. Oops. Is that a little baby shell, maybe? Is that a baby shell? What is that? Yeah, it looks like a, like a, like a shard of a shell. Yeah. Oh, what's the word today? Shard. <laughs> it's a shard of a shell. Shard of a shell. Say that three times fast. No. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to sound like. All right, well, he needs some help, but it's, it's coming along. Okay, so where am I going to go next? He's coming along. Let's do a little bit of this one. to be darker, huh? I 
I'm going to save that for that other brush because this one's just a little bit too... Too big. Too, yeah, it's too thick. So I'm just going to put in some shadows in here. Look at this little guy over here. Let's do him. Let's do that one. darker in the middle underneath here where it's kind of like shadowing a little more dark here a tiny bit of orange in there. There's something over there. Piece of a shell, I guess it is. Right? And go a little bit lighter. Coming along. It's always jumping around a little bit here and there. Add a little bit of white here. Sounds like it is though. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm not gonna mess with the waves today. I didn't even touch that shell or that one. I'm just trying to gently put in the colors. Um, I feel like I could keep going, but uh, I guess tomorrow, what's tomorrow, Thursday? Yeah, tomorrow's Thursday. Mm -hmm. I just want to do a little bit of the edge of this. That's all I want to do. Give it a little bit of a... A little bit of a scalloping there. Look at you, fancy schmancy. There. Right. Now it's got a little scallop on it. I a haven't done bit. the others, but... No. So, it's slowly coming along, and I'm happy with the progress that uh, I made. Um, it's
it's nice. You keep I keep just bouncing back and forth between the different shells, adding highlights and colors and shadows and tones and hues and uh, this one I really haven't even gotten to, but I feel like I'm not ready for him yet. So I'm gonna continue on with these. We'll see what that brings tomorrow. I still have the waves. I still have all this to do, but that I really am not too concerned with. It's more all the detail work in here that I'm trying to uh, get through and and do each one. So anyway, I am so happy that you have stopped by to watch today. Thank you so much for coming by and watching me during this live painting session. I hope you're all doing well. And today um, I'm com stopping here and I will come back tomorrow, either four or six, I'm not sure, four o'clock or six o'clock. And um, if you're interested to have a uh, piece of art created, you may have a photograph or something that means something to you, um, and it's the most personal gift you can give to someone also, um, click on the link, there'll be a link up on the top and you can find out about our special and more about it. And I hope you all have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow.